Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. Uh, for this video, I want to give a quick overview of uh, one of the many very useful functionalities in Caden Live, one that is easy to look over, but uh, I find it quite useful. And that is the disable functionality. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys as quick as I can what it does and also why you might want to use it. So here is a editing timeline of a video I'm currently working on um, and it's a place I went out for dinner tonight. It was uh, quite nice. And I'm, you know, as usual, going through my camera roll and picking out a few shots I want to intro the video with. I know it's perhaps not the most imaginative, but it's where I am, where I am now in my abilities. Um, so this is my timeline and these are kind of B-roll shots. You know, I, I show like the view of the old city. I show the outside of the venue and this and that. Now what I'll probably end up doing, almost certainly in fact, is uh, edit in a bit of music into this video, right? And when I'm mixing between a background audio layer and uh, something the camcorder captured with its microphone, sometimes I want both and sometimes I definitely don't want the camcorder audio. So for instance, if I was recording, I don't know, let's say a video of uh, the bar or the restaurant and there was, you know, the sound of wine glasses clinking, I might say, oh, you know, I want to get that. So I don't want to disable that. Now, what I would commonly do, uh, and this is really for a separate video, is just use the gain quite commonly. So I would uh, gain down the audio from the camcorder so that it doesn't override the uh, background music. But other times I want to get rid of the camera audio. Now, the very easy way to do that is to ungroup. If you take this audio here, and this is just an example of audio I don't want, my video have a listen to this i don't know if my camcorder is broken or uh the microphone's broken here is some uh b-roll that accidentally got an incredible amount of hissing noise so i can say with certainty i don't want that sound in my video now what i can do is ungroup and simply delete this but what if it was less clear cut and there was a chance i might actually say mm, Actually, I think I'll just put that sound lower. I want to get it back. Now, what you'd have to do is take, after you've ungrouped them, you need to take the video out of the timeline and you need to add the clip back in. A more elegant way of going about this operation, however, and one that's less um, you know, permanent on your timeline is just to disable. Now, you can disable video, audio, or video and audio. If I disable video by right-clicking on the video clip and... Uh, going for a disable watch what happens when I play through my editing timeline now Our unpleasant audio is still there, but there's a black screen in the preview window and vice versa I'm going to undo that by enabling and what I'm going to do here is click on disable and now when I play through the clip on the timeline We don't have our ugly audio now This is not only going to affect the timeline if you render out this video everything, it's going to preserve that. So if I render this video now, I'm not going to have that uh, scratchy audio. So that's basically what I use Disable for. Um, this wasn't the best example, maybe. I just didn't have a perfect one on hand. It's in cases where I, you know, choose, I probably don't want that, but I want to keep it somewhere on the timeline because I have an idea for where this might fit in. Uh, you know, it could even be as simple as saying, you know, I want to take this, piece of uh, b-roll here and I'm just going to kind of ungroup it and uh, uh, copy it here. I needed to copy it firstly and I can say well I might want this here but just to show now because this is the top video track it's going to jump to that second track but I could say mm, I'm going to have that as like my backup clip for this b-roll I might change my mind about it. So what I'm going to do is disable it and now Caden Life doesn't see you know, it treats it as if it's not there because it's disabled. So, it w and this will affect again both the preview and the render uh, process. So, if I render this now, this little bit of B-roll will not be rendered. Um, I hope that was useful. If you are editing in Caden Live, if you do want to get more videos about this, uh, about Caden Live, uh, Linux, Ubuntu, and quite a few other topics, do please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel. Thank you as ever for watching.